ease, man, at ease, at ease. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord. That's right. To keep the commandments of the Lord. That's right. Just like the brother was uh, teaching earlier, he, the brother sat here, he, uh, he explained who, he explained who, uh, who Israel was and by what tribe they were from. And the brother also went into repentance as well. So read it again. Verse 12, and now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Right. Now, it's more to it than just doing it your Israel. It's, it's things that the Most High require of thee. As he was speaking to the brother before, he was showing the brother that he must what? Keep the Sabbath holy. And this being the seventh day. Read it again. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. That's right. Deuteronomy 6.25. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he has commanded us. So being, so our, our righteousness to, to uh, repent and to uh, get the blessings of the Most High God, not living in the curses, right. we have to what? Our righteousness is keeping the commandments. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 94 and verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me? against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity That's right. read it again bro who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity the most high is calling he's pleading and asking who asking what read it again who will rise up for me against the evildoers we are here we also we are, we are here always talking about change we got to bring forth action to make that change. Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Uh, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So who is going to come out here and teach their people the righteousness of the Most High God? Right. Be a man to stand up and show your people when, they, when they're in their wrong. Right. When they're committing sin. Bring it. Give me sin. Yes, sir. When they're in sin, we, we the prophets, now that stand on our own two feet of the Most High God with the power of the Father, we are here to correct our people, to teach them that they are doing wrong, they are living wrong. And that's why they fall up under these curses. Read that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. Transgresses what? Also the law. So sin is the transgression, the breaking of God's law. That's right. For sin uh -huh. is the transgression of the law. Bring it up. Give me Deuteronomy. The reason to this day that we sit here and we are under these curses is because of the breaking of the Father's laws. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If they should not do what? If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all these commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's the reason why we've been shot down and slain in these streets today. Right. And our oppressors are getting out scot free. We murder each other in the streets. We don't see Christ in each other. That's why when the brother step on another brother's shoes, we can sit here and kill and take that brother's life without even blinking an eye. Right. Let me get out. Let me get um, read it again. Just read it again. Verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments, and it says that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, as us standing here as the prophets, your brothers, we sit here trying to teach y'all so that you can come up out of sin, so therefore the Most High will fight for you. Right. So the Most High can ease the squeeze of this captivity off of you. So you won't be sitting out here homeless or begging, begging for bread. Bring it 
That's right. We are here to give you that spiritual food so you want so you won't lack for none of these things. Right. right. But the brothers, but they don't want to hear it. Bring it up. But they don't want to hear it. Read that again, bro. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So as long as we sit here and we remain in sin, we're going to remain overtaken in these curses. Right. Hey, sis, you got a question? She doesn't have a question. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and curse shall thou be in the field. That part of being cursed in the field, that goes back into what? Slavery. Right here. That's cursed in the field. Cursed in the city is being slain in the street by all oppressors. Right. Slain in the streets by our brothers. Right. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. So this is one of the curses that the Most High have placed on us, that in a period of time uh, that our, chi our children or our kids would be taken from us in a foreign land that we was brought to. Right. All because we didn't want to be diligent and listen to the words of the Most High God. Right. Hey, sis, did you know Christ was black? You did? If I asked you that, could you show me that? And show me any proof that Christ is black? Let me show you. Let me show you the proof in just case somebody else asks you. All right, well, listen. Get that for me real quick. Well, listen as you walk down the street. That's okay. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool, Read. as white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread, as if they burn in a furnace. That's hey, sis, that's your proof right there. That's your proof right there. Let me get uh, 94. Psalm 94. Yes, sir. It's the book of Psalm, chapter 94 and verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Hey, bro, are you going to stand up against the evildoers? No, I guess not, really. Or who will stand up for me nah. against the workers of iniquity? Who? will rise up for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 48. Read. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul right. in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which thou hast built with thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. Verse 47, yet if they shall bethink themselves. Right now, this is where we are in that land, that far land, that, that land of our captives. Of That's our, right. Of our, of, our, of our oppressors. The most I said, we shall bethink ourselves, meaning if we will come to remembrance that we are the chosen seed of God, right. that we are of the 12 tribes of Israel, that everything in this Bible pertain to us. Right. If we shall bethink ourselves in the land whither they were carried captives, how we came over by the transatlantic slave trade off them slave ships, read. And repent. And what? And repent. Okay. And make supplication unto thee. So to, so to repent, to, to keep God's laws, to stop sinning, to marry the girls, the, the women that you're laying up with, shacking up with, having babies with, be right. a man and marry that sister. Right. That's right. Three. In the land of them that carried them captives. That, that land that we came across, that land that we hit when that boat hit that dock. Three. That's right. Saying, we have sinned. Confessing to the Father that we have what? We have sinned. That we have sat here and broken God's laws. That's Read. right. And have done perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. Committed what? Committed wickedness. Uh -huh. And so return unto thee uh -huh. with all their heart uh -huh. and with all their soul uh -huh. in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou gavest, the city which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which thou hast built. These things the Father has given to us, but we willingly gave it up. The Most High gave, every, all this whole earth belongs to the Israelites. That's right. The sun, the moon, the stars, they all, they're they here for our purpose. Right. Your purpose, sister. They're here for you, sis. And you over there too, brothers. Really? 
Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.